toxic content. Now, let's change the subject. Mm -hmm. Making a niche product can often be a huge challenge, but for our next company, it's been a key part of their success. We're talking bunions. Do you know what we're talking about? There you go, the handy diagram. A bunion is actually a bony lump at the base of the big toe. They can be very painful. And on average, you can see there, 55% of American women have them. Soul Bliss is a firm in the UK which has been making specialist shoes for women with bunions since 2017. It's expecting to have a turnover of around $1.3 million this year and it's already received celebrity and royal approval. With, uh, no, with Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, we've got uh, the Queen by any other name, Dame Helen Mirren, also been seen wearing the shoes as well. Yes, that's among Lisa's customers. Lisa mm. Kay is with us, founder of Soul Bliss Shoes, and you've brought some shoes in. As soon as I saw that shoe, I thought of Theresa May straight oh, away. Right. <laughs> if you just put the shoe down so that we can get a good shot of yeah. sure. Lisa, as tempting as it is. Just tell us why you started this company. So I've been in the business, the shoe business, for about 30 years. Um, and I myself am a bunion sufferer, uh, as is my mother and as was my grandmother before her. And it's, it took me a while to realise that it wasn't just my family that was suffering, but really there were lots and lots of ladies who suffered as well. When I started looking into it, I was horrified by the numbers, actually. We'll let you pick up the shoe now, because it's important, <laughs> isn't it, for you to describe to us it is, how really. these shoes work. Yeah, so let me, let me describe them to you. So inside every pair of Soul Bliss shoes, there is a patent pending technology. Um, there, there are many components in this technology. The first being the three separate layers under the foot. So one comforts and cushions, one contours, one supports under the foot. And then the most important part, really, is this bunion bed. We call it a bunion bed. And inside here, the bunion is allowed to breathe, relax, and it is accommodated here. If your bunion is very large, it will stretch to that size. If it's smaller, it will just stay where it is. So, so. essentially, so, so bunion relaxation. <laughs> exactly, on the side, bunion on the bed. Side of the yes. shoe. I was staggered by the numbers. 38% of women in the UK over the age of 30, 30 yes, indeed. have got bunions. Yes, and, and yet you seem to be the only person, the only business in the UK providing shoes yes. that people can wear pain-free? Yes. Well, it's a tricky business. The shoe business is very technical. Um, it took me five years to develop this. Why so um, long? Because it, it is a very technical issue. You need to have the depth in the shoe, but make them look elegant and pretty. You need um, special materials, so I sought out special materials. Um, and also, you need to make sure that, although the ladies' shoes are, the ladies' feet are comforted, and they're wide and deep enough at the front that they are also held in place at the back. All of that takes a long time to develop. Yeah. Now, when it comes to bunions, it yes. would seem there's a real taboo about mm. talking yes. about them. Yes. Uh, it was widely speculated in the press that even Meghan Markle may have had them or had an operation or whatever, uh, to which there is no comment, we don't know. But the point is it raised the issue uh, and, and just goes to show how people don't want to talk about this or even admit to having them. They don't. I really personally don't understand it with that many people, 10 million women in the UK alone suffering. I and it's hereditary, understand. isn't it? And it is, it is. It's hereditary. Um, also, if you are wearing poorly fitting shoes and you have a predisposition, then it gets worse. You know, that, that, that makes the situation worse. And you are really strictly an online business, aren't we you? We are an online business, yes. How, have you, how do you market then? Because people who are suffering with issues with their feet, surely they want to try these things on. They want to get a feel for it. They want to try different styles because if this doesn't work for them, you know, it's another amount of money wasted. Well, we find that we have a very good UK-based um, customer service, um, excellent, helpful people online and also by the phone. And we talk it through and people are, are, com are comfortable and... And your shoes are made in Spain, aren't they? They are made in Spain, yes. And it's... Um, where I've been working all my, all my life. And I know you're a bit concerned about Brexit, but not too much. Well, I think like everybody, really, um, every business, there are challenges ahead. Um, I feel that I've got my supply chain sorted. I feel um, like everybody is in the same situation, really. We need certainty, and once we have that, then we can plough ahead, really. Mm. Lisa, thanks for coming in. It's Thank been absolutely you. fascinating. Lisa yes. Kay, founder of Soul Bliss Shoes. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. Much.